I have had this thing for over two years now. Man, it time, time has flown by. It does not feel like two years. I'm, I'm telling you, man. It feels like I just got it yesterday. But uh, I figured, I checked my most, my most oldest. I checked my oldest <laughs> video uh, to see when I released it. And I saw the thing. It just says over two years ago. And I'm like, oh my goodness. <laughs> what have I been doing for two years? Um, so I decided that this would be a perfect opportunity to tell you guys after owning the Ninja 650. This is a uh, 2020, I think. Yes, I'm pretty sure it's a 2020. Um, Kawasaki Ninja 650, um, of course, in the beautiful, the beautiful white color. It's my favorite. Um, I have, I figured it would be a good opportunity to uh, talk to you guys about um, whether I still like the bike or not. Um, the TLDR of it is yes. Um, but I, I'll, I'll get into it. I'll tell you guys a, f a few more details about it. So um, if that's something you guys are interested in, stay tuned while I ramble on my way to the gym. And uh, I don't know, maybe it'll convince you guys to get one. Emergency brake. Oh man, this thing stops way too easy. Way too easy. Now, if only I could just find first. Usually, it's have hard. Usually, it's more difficult to find neutral. I failed to find first. All right. So, just to sum it all up before I even begin, the answer is yes. Yes, I do still like this bike. I've had it for two years. This guy's gonna let me go. What a gentleman. Had it for over two years and it's still fantastic. So this is gonna be all over the place. I didn't plan this, but I do wanna talk about it because it's probably one of the most slept on bikes. And I don't mean like taking a nap. It's just people don't really realize how good the bike actually is. Um, but before I do that, the one thing, like if I was to recommend it, I have to say, um, what is the typical situation that you're riding bikes in? Uh, because, because uh, if it's around town and you're stopping and going and stuff, like you got red lights, stop lights, people crossing the road, traffic, um, dumb drivers and stuff like that then I would say this is probably the best bike <laughs> because uh, it's really really lightweight and and because it's a v-twin uh, v I hope I'm correct on that it's not an inline four-cylinder like other sport bikes it is styled like a sport bike and it feels and looks like a sport bike but it's a v-twin the it, it, something similar to like a naked bike or something like an mt07 or something like that um they have a very consistent power band all the way through the rev range so you're not gonna get that throw you into the back of your seat torque when you open up like Thing goes pretty quick man um, I don't want to get a ticket here <laughs> but it doesn't throw you in the back of your seat instantly like the uh, like the uh, R6 or the any of the inline four cylinders because the inline four cylinders they act like uh, like under 5,000 rpms is one bike over 5,000 rpms is another bike like it opens up at the higher rev range these ones are just consistent and there's a lot to be said for that because while I was just ripping there for just a second um, it the it no it did not make me slide into the back uh, or into the front of the passenger seat no I didn't slide back into it but the entire time it feels like the bike is just pulling you know like if you're if you're driving a muscle car that has a lot of horsepower doesn't have a lot of like you know the initial off the line go but it just goes the higher uh, speeds it just keeps pulling that's what this feels like it just keeps pulling um, 
that's fun it's not going to be as fast as an inline four cylinder but just that feeling of consistency and also the peace of mind that that buys you is is really nice because you can be driving around here you know going the speed limit is 40 but 40 miles an hour or something if somebody like kind of pulls out in front of you and you need to get out of the way you know that wherever you are whatever gear you're in unless you're going like 40 in sixth gear don't do that it's dumb um but like if you're at the at, a, at an appropriate gear um you know that you can actually get up and you know get around comfortably like safely uh, get out of a situation if you need to and that's pretty cool um, so around town it's great uh, that consistent power band also doesn't feel uncomfortable when you're stopping and going all the time because around town you stop and go you spend more time at a red light than you do actually riding um, but yeah so I think that's great uh, around town is perfect if you're in a situation riding more where you're just kind of like in the open like if i was driving out to the lake once i get past uh, uh jacksonville out here it's almost just non-stop go if i was riding that more regularly i would prefer something like a cbr 600 uh the uh the old yamaha r6 uh maybe uh, i've never been a fan of leader bikes i want one someday obviously i do but those are just unnecessarily powerful for just what I like to do um, but if I was doing the more like you're just going and you're just turning you know you're not stopping and going stop and going all the time something like those would be a lot more fun because you have more opportunity to actually experience the bike and, and in my opinion what would be the point of getting a bike like that if you're just stopping at red lights every one minute uh, you know every two blocks no in terms of just around town this bike is perfect i love this bike this for what i do this is perfect uh if you are brand new like brand new i so i would not recommend my art my old r6 if, if somebody was just new even though it was my first bike my first bike was a yamaha r6 it was like a 2000 and uh 2005 i believe uh yamaha r6 um really stupid not a good choice for a first bike i had a blast it was great um but i wouldn't recommend it to anybody else um because i don't know what everybody else's uh, mentality or mindset is um, i can ride that bike and and follow the laws not everybody can because if they had that as their first bike they're gonna get that thrill of oh my god i could do this and then they're gonna do it and either hurt themselves or get in trouble you know what i mean so i wouldn't recognize and, and it's and those are not as forgiving but um i this bike if if you're interested in the the sport styled bikes you know not like cruisers like harleys and stuff like that but if you like the sport styled bikes um this is probably your best choice and i'm not saying that because i'm being told to say that or pay to say that or anything i'm just saying that because it is it's probably the best bike that you would be able to get as a first bike um you know and of course that title is is probably not like it's it's not like a completely the best bike is probably very closely shared with things like the the new r7 or um you know other there are other similar bikes there's probably but the 650 style of bike whether it's kawasaki or or uh honda or uh whatever it is the 650 style bike is probably the best choice um because you get the power when you need it it's not holding you back on anything there we go that's better look at that i went into first just fine anyways it's not holding you back if you need it you're not going to outgrow it because like i mean i've been riding for so many years and this bike doesn't feel boring it's not boring it's it's I, i'm i'm having a, uh, every time i'm out here i'm having a blast um as you guys know this is like episode 49 uh in in like the last two years that i've you know come out here and ridden around and i think in every single episode i say i love this bike because i do it's it's the truth it's a great bike that's just my opinion uh 
yeah it's, it's fantastic so that's I really don't know what else to say about it you guys see me fuel up I put uh, gas in it I put gas in this thing like I'm still full it's still reading full from my last fill up um, I don't ride every single day though I ride um, you know to to the gym uh, sometimes to work but work is pretty close to home um, I don't I don't go on long trips every time if it's a daily driver yeah you'd fill up a lot more often because it's just you know that's just how it works but um, my last fill up cost me eight dollars and I think it was like eight dollars and eight cents I can't remember I'll have to look at that video um, it was like eight dollars eight dollars and it was from like two uh, two little bars on my fuel gauge to full like couldn't hold anymore and I've still got it says range 142 miles like what the heck eight dollars guys eight dollars <laughs> the gas mileage on these things is fantastic it's it's insane like I mean if you're looking into getting into motorcycles because you like it it's a great choice if you're looking into get getting into motorcycles because you want to save money on gas it's a fantastic choice you know just be aware that uh daily routine type things have to change around it you know like if you're going to the grocery store bring a backpack with you and you can only really take home what you could put in your backpack so you do have to plan accordingly you can't just like you know take your truck and then just go to costco and load it up for like four hundred and fifty three thousand dollars worth of groceries that'll last you one week um but still uh it's 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 fantastic the gas mileage is insane um you can ride for or like i i go two weeks three weeks sometimes uh on like ten dollars of gas um and again everything that i do is typically close to home so i'm not going um i'm not going like a, a, across the country all the time you know from state to state or something like that obviously that's going to change depending on how you ride again but again if you're doing more longer rides like that especially if it's like consistent and it's not stop and go you might be more interested in an inline four cylinder bike um so that all being said i don't know if i've said anything useful uh but uh, I, I just I just believe it's a fantastic bike. That's my honest opinion. This is not it's not scripted This is nothing. I came out here and I just was figuring I want to talk about my bike <laughs> So uh, there is one thing uh, if you made it to the end of this There is one thing that I don't like about this bike and shocker. Wow. There's one thing I don't like um, I, When you open it up, it sounds good but when you're just sitting and idling, man, it just sounds like a rattle can. <laughs> that being said, I do have stock exhaust. Uh, there are some exhaust kits that you can get. Um, I just don't want to spend the money on it because, you know, to me, it just sounds, it's, it's just a sound. But there's some exhaust kits that you can get on it that kind of makes it sound throatier and meatier and stuff like that. But in general, the the 650 like the 649 cc uh, v twin motors regardless of what brand it is is gonna sound like you're shaking a rattle can you know and just you know it's it's just the way it is um the cold start is not very exciting <laughs> the uh the just sitting idle at a red light is not very exciting either uh but when you do open up the throttle i have to admit like you guys heard it before it sounds pretty cool I do like that so that is a very 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 minor thing um, but it's like not important enough to ever dissuade anybody from getting the bike um, so yeah if you guys are new to riding or you never ride rode before or you're thinking about riding and you've been kind of eyeballing the 650 like hmm, that might be the one oh also you guys the price my goodness you could probably get my exact bike the one that i'm riding right now you can probably find it same mileage same kind of wear and tear and everything like uh, like four thousand dollars or less you know depending on where you get it from i got mine from a dealership for like four thousand six hundred two years ago when it was two years younger and only had two thousand miles on it the price is fantastic you know you can depending on your credit score obviously you can like finance almost that entire thing for what like a hundred bucks a month or something 100 bucks 150 bucks a month or something of course if you finance it be aware that you're going to be spending more on insurance because they require um the come on guys i'm not gonna go 
Okay, I'm going. These guys are nuts. They don't use their turn signals. Nobody uses their turn signals anymore. <laughs> But anyways, yeah, no, if you're financing it, you do have to have like full coverage, depending on your state. I don't know what it's like where you're at, but for us, uh, when you finance it, uh, insurance is more expensive. So if you could just buy it outright, like I bought mine outright, I had a really uh, lucky break on the stock market, like the S&P 500 did really good. And I had some cash and I'm just like, man, I want a motorcycle. So I got my motorcycle. Um, and then I just put liability insurance on it, which, you know, has bit me in the ass already because when it got stolen a while ago, when I got back, the damages were not covered on insurance. So keep that in mind. If you get liability insurance, basically anything that happens to it is your, it's coming out of your pocket, but at least you can ride it without having to worry about some cop getting mad at you because they do like to pull over motorcycles for no reason, even if you're following all the laws. But then they'll pull you over and they'll say like, I need your license and registration and insurance. And then you'll be like, shit, I don't have insurance. So um, yeah, so you do have to have at least liability. Um, but that's cheap. My, my insurance, I think is like 12 bucks a month. It's like, it's stupid low. Like I spend more on gas than I do my insurance. And I only spend like 10 bucks every three weeks on gas. So um, yeah. Ramble, ramble, ramble. Welcome to my channel. If you guys like this type of content and you can't even figure out what the heck I'm trying to tell you, um, then feel free to subscribe and like the video and also share it. Get it out there. Um, I'm going to be kind of trying to work on finding a nice picture for the thumbnail and stuff because I've been doing some learning about like the click-through rates and stuff like that. I really want this channel to grow, um, but I still want it to be useful. So I'm not going to try to grow it in some like un... Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? I can't think of it. I want it to be, like, honest. You know what I mean? So, yeah, whatever. So, it'll help if you guys like the video and share it. And uh, subscribe to the channel. That helps. Get the algorithm on my side, please. I'm just kidding. Um, anyways, <laughs> I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, if, and uh, if this made any sense, uh, leave your comment. Leave, like, your opinions and stuff in the comments and stuff. And I'll make sure to... I do pretty good. I, I usually answer almost every single one of them. If it gets overwhelming, though, I might not be able to. But so far, I've been pretty good at it. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm done talking. Bye.